In this video, we're going to be taking an existing Printful product and we're going to be resubmitting an improved graphic. If you've been following along on this series, uh, we made this shirt from start to finish. And in the last video, we made an improved graphic. So we started with this one. We improved it with this one in the last video. And now I'm going to submit them that improved graphic to an existing product so it shows up at my shop. So we'll go to a Printful and we are going to go back to my shop to where the product exists and we're going to go to edit. And now this is where it gets funny because there's no place to resubmit the product, but when you hit this down arrow, you see the design right there. And you can edit it one at a time, but you don't want to do that with all the variants. So the easy way to do it, which doesn't seem very intuitive, is to hit this little box here to select all the variants. And then it says, oh, do you want to change the print file? And you say, yes, I do. So now you can go ahead and bulk change all of the print files, remove that one. Let's upload our new one. Where is it? Is this it? Now we'll put that on there. All right, tree pose and sloth mode. Maybe move it up a little. Get it centered. Sometimes it doesn't want to get centered very well. Okay. Proceed to mockups. You have to resubmit that because it resubmits all of these images back to your store. So you have to choose the mockup you want. I just do a simple one. Submit. And it says changes will take effect shortly. So while that happens, I will also give you a heads up that if you used place it to do a mockup, to display the shirt in your store you're also going to have to change that so you can go ahead and if you saved it as a draft you could just pull it up from your drafts right here and then replace that and we'll move that up crop okay great and then you download that and then you, you know, you can compress it for, uh, change the size a little bit so it's not so resource intensive on your site so that it loads faster in the browser. But that's basically the steps. Um, I'm not going to go through editing the image, but I will check my shop just to see. Products, edit, and you can see right here, there's the one with the writing. I still have to change the featured image because I haven't gone through all of the editing yet, but you can see it right here in the product gallery. It has uploaded those images for that. I just have to re-upload the image for this one. And thanks a lot for watching. More print-on-demand tutorials coming. And find the ultimate resource list in the video description below. And if you found this helpful, feel free to like, sub, or comment.